hi everyone welcome back and let's start our application so what we are going to do here is we are going to explore a little bit of documentation we are going to write forms we are going to talk about page options and how we can manage the hooks and all these concepts so page form actions i mean uh, page.server.js or page.server.ts or layout.server.ts can export an actions which allows you to post the data to the server that means whatever the html form you are writing this is simple form we write in the html and we say method post uh, and method post means you are actually submitting this form to the server this is how we used to do in the earlier world before this react and this framework came into the picture so we are doing post and this server.ts or js file can handle that action if you are not specifying it as a get put post get or post in that case it will be handled by the default server action so this is the default but you can specify action always use post request because you are actually submitting some data to the server since get request should never we have a side effects because get we are using to just fetch the data not to submit the data to the server so let's say if the action is login it's these are like named actions right so in this particular case this will be handled by this named action login because i'm explicitly saying action login method is post i mean by default all the methods are post so this is the login so here you can capture the data from the event object okay this is the username this is the password validate it against the server side logic and then return the status code or whatever you want to do if this is used to register capture the data and uh, store the information and return the response so invoke the named action add a query parameter like uh, you can add a query parameter like this register query parameter prefixed by forward slash character so it will trigger the register action and this will trigger i think login so as well the action attributes we can use form actions something like this form method and action login right and if you want to click on to this button this is the form action we can't have a default actions like the default which we were specifying here if we are using the named action then stick to using the named action i'm just reading the documentation and letting letting you know now what happens is what you are doing is you have submitted the data to the server right uh, you actually have a form you did a login register so how you get the uh, the data inside the actions using request object request dot form data this is simple and will be used everywhere and then you can get the email password username first name last name whatever the attributes you are specifying and then you can return the data from this action so these are the server side actions which you are submitting from the html page this is the register and then this particular data how you will access this data which is being returned this server side action data will be returned in the data i mean whatever the payload you are returning you can access that through the data data dot success so inside data this is like the action data which you handle through the form so the data export that data handles the, the load function data and this is the form action data handled by the form here you can create a form variable this will get the data whatever you are putting in uh, whatever you are returning from the form actions the so form dot success so whatever you are putting here i can access that in the client side page dot felt and then i would know okay the the data has been submitted data has some errors email is invalid username is empty the length all these validation errors you can return from the server side let's say what i'm doing here i just return a simple object here i'm returning a specific status code with the email missing true okay i'm returning something new other than success so how can you de deal with this kind of uh, response what i'm doing is i'm returning fail uh, fail i think we are getting from the swell kit and i'm returning 400 email missing true incorrect true and what will happen is this is your form here inside this form you will get this response object email incorrect true right so what you will get form dot is missing so you can actually configure the parameters these are not standard parameters you can define your own way form dot missing form dot invalid form dot required form dot 
uh, minimum length required whatever the variables you return from this object you can access so incorrect form dot incorrect if it is true okay invalid credentials email field is required or username password is incorrect and how you can show it uh, the value like uh, you can you can actually bind that value also form dot email if the form dot email is there then it will make it empty okay the written written data must be serialized as a json that's the important part because json i can read it i can access through the form object form dot is missing incorrect form dot property name like form dot email form dot missing form dot incorrect very simple right you can also redirect uh, what happens is let's say you are as success you have a successful uh, login session id you created a session then you can actually redirect you redirect to the swell kit stuff fail and redirect and you redirect to 303 and this is the redirect url okay so this is pretty much uh, how it works and uh, this is also uh, talking about handles sorry hooks hooks actually uh, now the we are going to talk about hooks what these hooks are these hooks can populate the data into your pages how hooks access these events and resolve inside the events you can populate the data which is there in the session or has been returned from the server side session let's say you logged in successfully what i'm doing i'm adding setting something inside a cookies so these cookies this cookie can i have i have access to this cookie at the client side also in the session id i put some data so so event dot uh, cookies dot get session id and based on that i can get the user in this hook server this is also server side execution but with the help of this i can put something inside the event object which i can access in the pages also right so this event i can access so if you are a populating this event object through the hooks then i can access that in the load function i can access that in the actions everywhere so here you can see the same event object i access in the event object and here you can say event.local.user that i set through the hooks but now i do have access to that using page.server now i can access this user object inside the page.swelt.js using data.user same thing i can access that in the events event.local.user null let's say from the front end i click on the logout that means i need to reset the session to null i need to remove the cookies all those things i can do it like, like event.cookies.delete event.local.user null that's it okay so these are the concepts uh, we are going to talk in this example let's get started and another important aspect is you can also create a lib folder like all the Svelte components because always okay I have created a new bar I can create a new bar dot Svelte right I have a simple new bar which I wanted to put so I am use all we are already using uh, Tailwind so I am just going to put a simple new bar which we are going to use everywhere so this is nothing but uh, some tailwind template header and here you can have login register profile this is my whatever the components i'm going to write so here you can actually put your all the components like button component uh, select component drop down component form component those components you can use in the layouts so what you will do is we are going to create a couple of layouts so let's say i create a simple page layout simple oh, and now i created something inside a lib so i can do something like this lib new bar dot swell okay you can also have some Footer component inside lib similarly contact about whatever which which you don't want to become a route you just import them and they act like that not going to be the neighbor i will just put empty div for now 
then we have some nice ui we'll put the footer okay now inside the layout you can import header you can import footer uh it's a uh, footer dot neighbor put it also it and now then you can use it so here i will do is uh, class app and inside this you can import the header new bar we have you can import header and we can import so now inside this you have a slot all the children will go inside this and inside this you have footer okay what happened import footer oh sorry sometimes i start typing like react okay and inside this styling we can create c is app uh, we can set min height which is 100 vh vertical height and display is flex i will not focus much on uh, designing the layout because you might be way better than me flex direction is column okay so this is simple layout we have created now we are going to create all the pages so let's say i have a two set of uh, layouts App layouts uh, inside this uh, we also have API APIs we can use it if you want this is still working uh, what it is doing is it is giving us all the posts I guess and this is giving us the individual post by ID okay now we can create uh, all the routes inside routes we are going to have a two set of route I mean the app routes here I am just doing grouping these are not going to be the part of the actual URL pages. Okay, inside pages, we'll talk about some pages, but inside this app route, we are going to have a dashboard. So here, let's create a dashboard and we are going to have a profile. Okay dashboard profile and inside dashboard we are going to create a further components a page dot felt so here page dot felt this is the dashboard inside profile we will create let's say the same page dot felt and then we'll have a login and something like that so the login we are going to create inside routes this is a outside login and we are going to create a login page page dot swelled because you will be submitting the form or something like this plus page dot swelled and page dot server dot ts yes so what do we have I mean i don't have any much content in the login you can create a simple form or i will just put simple button what that button will do is when you click on the form when you submit the form we, we, we are actually going to submit the form so let's say either you write a simple login register form where you pass a username password and all and they submit the form and this i'm going to handle in the page server.js so here i'm going to write a default action because I didn't specify any, this is not a named action. It's a simple form with method post. So who's going to de who is going to handle the page submission, the default action, which is defined here. So here I will do is export const actions. And inside the actions, I will just put default. These all are async action and I will have access to the cookies and the request. Inside this, I will just simply say is cookies.set. How to set the cookies? 
let's say I have an axis to true. What will happen is when you click on to this button, you are trying to gain access, gain access or just uh, log in, dummy log in. And dinner. Okay, so this is a simple login. What it will do is it will set the session for you. Now you can access, you can write some routes. Say I wanted to route, write some routes. I already have the APIs, so I can put some blogs. Blog. API posts is already giving me something and we already talked about this basic stuff so I will just put the, the blogs here blog route SRC routes what this blog route contains it will be a page.ts page.svelte it's just fetching the data we don't have a CO you can add a SEO for each and every page. That's a separate topic. But here I'm getting the, the posts from the data. And this is plus page dot TS is having the load function, which is fetching the data from here and exporting the posts through the load function. And we are accessing that using data dot posts. Posts iterating and then post by ID. Here also we have this page.ts function to get the data for a particular post simple I mean I don't need to explain so that's why I just copy it from my simple example because I don't need to talk about this basic very very basic thing now uh, let's talk about uh, our forms because that is important part so inside pages we can create some form this is the app layout before that we can write a hook that is called uh, page server dot ts some hook we are going to write and through that hook we will validate if the user session is there then what we need to do right routes uh, i think inside routes we can create or hooks will be outside in the src i need to check that so that will not be a part of routes obviously so what we will do is we will create a hook dot server dot ts what the hook will do is okay you click the login you most probably will get login and then based on your cookies you can check which all routes you can access which all routes you cannot and if you your cookies are set we will redirect so here we will just do a svelte kit and from here we'll get the redirect i guess okay and then here we can just write export this is the function so we talked about load function actions and now this is the handle because we are talking about hooks and here you get an access to an event object and the resolve i'm not putting the typings here but here you can put the typings of your functions either you are writing load function and all and here i will access first the cookies from the event event dot cookies dot get event dot cookies dot get access which is a string if that is true i mean if your cookies value is true that means you are good i mean this is a string which is very weird i want to put the string if you have an access if let's say if you don't have an access and event dot route dot id let's talk about this later like you can actually protect a particular set of routes if you are trying to hit the app from here then only you can just protect your routes so you can just check okay if user doesn't have an access because there can be some public pages right there can be some private pages so i'm just uh, checking if this is a public page or if this is a private page then protect it so if you don't have an access 
what we need to do is we need to throw redirect co2 and your page name login otherwise uh, what you do is you just response uh, const response equal to await resolve what i'm saying is okay user is logged in we got the cookies now i wanted to just uh, return the response so what we can do is uh, const await resolve and here your work so what this cookie ch checking is do you have an access named cookies and the value is true if you are we are good otherwise it will redirect you okay so let's talk more about hooks because hooks are really powerful and being used uh, everywhere so hooks we are using here to protect this particular route okay if user is trying to enter to this route and doesn't have a cookies then redirect the user to this particular route i mean the home page so at the hooks uh, there are a lot of things we can do at the hooks level we can check the session is there we can populate the locals object in the in inside the events so uh, hooks will be triggered and once uh, we see that cookies has the session available we can make a request and we can get the data so this data i'm getting from the cookies let's say here we can write uh, some library method which will check the cookies cookies dot get access equal to true then i'm uh, or the session id is inside the cookies you get the data and then you can set the data inside the locals okay event dot locals dot user here if the access is true that means if this is condition is true then i will set the locals user with this object otherwise null now how this event dot local locals will be used across the different page components page server components right so what will happen if this is not there then it will redirect to the home page so what we can do to check if we have this locals available inside the home page so there are some protected route or let's say the the page here what we can do is we can write a simple function node function and we can try to access the locals and we can assign the locals to the user so inside the component inside the home page because this is the load function will be exported to the component and i can access it using data.user.email so i just put data.user.email here to see if you are logged in if you have the cookies and the hooks have set the data equal to this test or let's say tk sharma.com this data will be set then it will be able to we should be able to show it on the home page page dot flood similarly in the the pages similarly in the protected routes like the the dashboard profile we can write a simple function in the page server we can actually get the locals or there is already a we already set the data in the page here we can ex, we can use that in the dashboard page so let's say here I'm just already logging in here also I can if I want to return the data return the page level data equal to user so here I can do locals dot user and then this user is an exported uh, I mean a returned value from the exported load function I can print the value here uh, it will be so uh, we need to write a script because we are getting the data so data and here i can say data dot user dot email and sometimes the user will become null and in data so data dot user dot email so because this is a protected route and we are expecting that data should have a user object so it is something like this and we can also have a logout logout page this also will submit a page action and inside page action we will set the cookies null right here what i'm doing is in the default action cookies dot set access null and the redirect to the home page okay so let's run this application there are two objectives uh once is the protecting the routes another is once your logs in how to access the session data the simple thing is inside of hooks you fetch the action you fetch the session data or user object populate that at the events dot locals so that locals can be accessible 
in the load functions everywhere like i'm doing it here in the locals uh, we don't need it but inside this uh, home pages like profile or the dashboard page i'm accessing the locals and setting that page level data similarly in the home page we are doing the same thing i'm printing it just to debug okay the locals has the value and then setting the user payload so we can just do a and dev just reload it it's showing undefined because we don't have a cookies so what i will do is it's a simple demo try to showcase things and when i do dummy login it will actually submit an action to the server and we will set the cookies yes cookies is there right and now you can see tk server how that is being populated first it went to the home page and we can also check the console logs you can say initial initial user was null once you click on login now check the whole flow here i set the cookies even i make the cookies a little bit more secure by setting the https only and once you are do, done with the login i will redirect you to the home page then again this hook will get called and it will check okay this cookies is available now after login and i'm going to the home page i will set the value inside event.locals.user and i'm going to the home page so the page dot server dot ts here i am printing the locals i got the values email this email and i populated that as a page data that is being published a very simple demo now you can go to the dashboard you can get to the, the profile dashboard blocks these are profile and dashboard are the protected routes which we have right and now we will do is i have a logout action also somewhere this is also a form action when you click on logout what it will do it will set this cookies access true to false so this is the cookies i have i will click on logout this is marked to null i'm showing undefined but you can do is you can actually do a if else if the value is there then show it otherwise don't show it now it is null now when you go to the dashboard and profile you cannot because those are protected routes so you can simply do the login and we log in populate it you have the values so this is how the, these are the different concepts protecting the routes populating the value populating the value from the session and how to use the hooks so that we can check the user session get the data set the data in the user locals and then populate the user locals to the pages where it wherever the you need to populate the username email and you, you need to show that user has already logged in okay so that's pretty much about it uh, we will talk about the submit form submission in the next video